So three of our five matches have been completed. Next up is women's singles and men's doubles will finish off this afternoon. Well, we've had some terrific badminton so far. And if you talk about potential, well, just look at our next match, women's singles, an all Japanese affair. Hashimoto against Akane Yamaguchi, who's just 16 years of age. Hashimoto and Hirata, the number eight seeds in the men's doubles, they'll be looking for their first semi-final. Well, as far as the women's singles is concerned, the road to the Super Series finals to be staged in Malaysia at the end of the year. Saina Nawal, the number one, despite not actually reaching a final of a Super Series tournament. She's had a couple of semi-finals, well, three semi-finals to be precise, but the big mover in the last week was Pontip Branapraseczuk at number nine up eight places because of course she reached the final last week at the china masters the olympic champion down at five at the moment only two chinese players well that could all change as far as the women's singles are concerned before the super series finals in december so we await the women's singles players on to court Women's singles has been an interesting draw. The number one and two seeds withdrew before the tournament got underway. The Olympic champion, Li Shuere, was the number one seed. She withdrew. And the world champion, Arachanok Intonot, the number two seed. She withdrew before play got underway. And that, of course, has opened up the draw and allowed some of the up and coming players to really shine. So, the quarterfinal on court Yui one Hashimoto, is the the 23-year-old, up Hashimoto against the schoolgirl, the 16-year-old Akane, Akane Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi who has battled her way through the, the qualifying rounds to be here in the quarterfinal. And the service judge is Takahiko Tsujinaka from Japan. Here is the 16-year-old Yamaguchi. Goodness me, what an upset yesterday because she put out the bronze medalist from the recent world championships. Now we know that the defending champion we can see there, Tai Su Ying, the number six seed from Taipei, already through her quarterfinal against Sayaka Takahashi in two straight games. My goodness me, look at that. Five Japanese players in the quarterfinal stage. That really does sum up a resurgence in Japanese badminton. So let's look first of all at the 23-year-old Yui Hashimoto. 29 in the world, ranking up just one place. Chia has been just slightly higher at 28. Now she had a very, very tough first round opponent in Busanan Ongban Arangfang from Thailand and 13 minutes. I can tell you she was a game and 18-10 up in the second game before she lost that. I watched it, it was quite remarkable. No such problems against her teammate Ohori, promoted from the qualifying in the second round. So here is the qualifier, 145 in the world ranking. She's gone down four places this last week. She's the 12th ranked Japanese women's singles player. And she's just 16 years of age. She's still at school. But she's had four matches so far, qualifying first of all match against the Korean player Kim Soo Jin, then against uh, Yamamoto of Japan. Then she entered the first round where she had to play another qualifier. And then yesterday, in the second round, had to play against Pusala Venkata Sindhu of India, the recent bronze medalist from the World Championships, and beat her. That wasn't a mistake. It really was 21-6 in the first game, 21-17 in the second. Just 32 minutes for 
that second round match against the World Championship bronze medalist. Incidentally, I think Sindhu is still young enough to play in the World Championships this year. And of course, Yamaguchi is certainly young enough. She was silver medalist in the World Championships last year, lost out to Okuhara, all Japanese World Junior Sh Championship women's singles final. Tallest of athletes, Yamaguchi. Some dispute as to whether she's 155 or 156. Either way, it's under five foot two. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yui Hashimoto, Japan. And on my left, Akane Yamaguchi, Japan. Yui Hashimoto, to serve. Love all. Yui Hashimoto getting this quarter final underway. Already won a title this year. Hashimoto won the Austrian International. Another semi final as well. Final as a qualifier at the Swiss Grand Prix gold event. Oh, that's a lovely play from Yamaguchi. Two tournaments played so far this year for Yamaguchi and two finals. But beaten in both finals, the Osaka International and the New Zealand International as well. against each other. I'm sure they have in domestic events. Yeah, that's a very, very good rally. Sixteen-year-old. Goes to Katsuyama High School. Has been playing badminton since the age of five. I don't think I'm knew what badminton was when I was five years no. old. creating an angle and playing it with precision and that's what she was doing so well yesterday against Sindhu. This course is a second Super Series quarter-final for this lady, Hashimoto. She reached the quarter-final in India and that caused a bit of a sensation because she beat the number one seed at that event, the home player, Saina Newell, in the second round to progress through to the semi-final, where she then lost to PV Sindhu. 
extraordinary second half. over as well. Oh, it was mighty close. Perfect start as far as Yamaguchi is concerned, and it's a nightmare start as far as Hashimoto is concerned. <laughs> Finds the line. Hashimoto surprised by the call. 11-1. We're at the mid game interval, and we've only had five minutes of play. Well, of course, there won't be any coaching staff involved. Two players from the same nation. Oh, well. Looking at that again, I'm not surprised that Hashimoto was a little surprised. First international event. The 16 year old was at the Osaka International last year. Came through the qualifying event before beating the number one seed, Bellatrix Manuputi of Indonesia, in the very first round. And that really signaled the fact that she is a threat. She may be young. A block of her attacking shot. It was a clever play from Hashimoto to lift to the back of the court. Mm, it's quite heavy strapping on that left leg of Hashimoto. I don't know whether it's quadricep muscle or the hamstring that's the problem. Yeah, she 
not afraid to command the rallies is Akane Yamaguchi. We've got time to have a little look across at the adjoining court. clear getting her opponent out of position off balance then goes for the winner of the court, pushes her opponent deep in the forehand corner and then makes her play backhand net. That's the full diagonal of the court that Hashimoto has to scamper. Oh, this is absolutely extraordinary. That's gone just wide. Well, Hashimoto can forget this opening game. Can't win, I don't think, from sort of deficit but what she really needs to do is play herself into form give herself some confidence before the start of the second game yeah nice angle that will certainly help drops shuffle not coming down from that high because she's not that tall an athlete yeah well played from Hashimoto Six, look at the effort to take that shuttle as early as possible my goodness Yamaguchi almost got it back almost isn't good enough though White. of that that was definitely wide Eight, five straight points for Hashimoto 10, 5, as I said just a moment ago 
Hope the game probably beyond her. And this will do her a world of good before the start of the second. But you should never give up because you just never know. the body smash have the desired effect nine. six straight points going to hash a model run finally comes to an end oh that's good defense Pushed it wide. 18. has just relaxed into the match a little. Perhaps a little nervous right at the start. Suddenly turning the wrist at the last moment to play that across court. Lovely disguise, lovely technique. Over does it? Game point 
opportunities. the 16-year-old schoolgirl who has come through the qualifying rounds takes the opening game 21-12 in 19 minutes of play this the final rally shuttle going long well she made a great start eight straight points without reply at the beginning of that opening game I don't think Hashimoto will allow her opponent that sort of start in a second. I wonder what on earth is going through her mind at the moment. The 16-year-old schoolgirl, her game up. Oh, well, there is her father. Yeah, he's having a little smile, waving to us. Yeah, he'll be a very proud man indeed. And mother was sitting just along from him. And indeed, Yamaguchi's teacher as well. My goodness, they'll all be very proud of her whether she wins or loses this. She caused a sensation in this tournament. Well, she's one game to the good. 21-12 that opening game to Akane Yamaguchi. Now, what can Yui Hashimoto do in response? She's got the capabilities, she's a very good player. But she's got to keep her cool head, the 23-year-old. The Hoko region in Japan. Yamaguchi goes for these angles, tries to create something, likes to dictate the pace. May not have the consistency at the moment, but that will come with time. Game 
hand on hip, a sign of bewilderment in a way, running out of ideas. She shouldn't get down on herself just yet. Draw on her experience. Of course, she's been in at least one final every year for the last three years. So she's got a huge amount of experience in comparison to her opponent. Judgment two from Hashimoto. Yeah, she got herself in a position. She could have played it if she'd changed her mind. Disguise on that Three, from Yamaguchi. Four. Holds it, flicks at the last moment, deep into the forehand corner. That's what's really impressed me this week. It's the first time I've really had a look at Yamaguchi. I'm reading about her, following her results, Five. but looking at the level of skill and the level Six, of deception. Expect that from a 16. I suppose when you've been playing 11 years already since the age of five. from Hashimoto and Yamaguchi did so well to get that one back, extend the rally. Wow, that one's of the very highest quality. shake of the head as if to say to herself, why did you have to try and make it that tight? It doesn't have to be that tight to the net. You shouldn't be trying to hit winners off the return of serve to just build the rally. It's going wide. line where it was out. Three straight points for Yamaguchi. Four straight points. Well, Hashimoto is asking for the court to be mopped. Losing four straight points, I think it's a psychological break needed as much as anything.
moment Hashimoto was going to play that. Shimoto. Control at the net from Yui Hashimoto. Good disguise, she's played so many back to the nets, Hashimoto, but all of a sudden when she plays the hold and flick deep into court, gets real advantage. And on a run of six straight points, goes to the mid-game interval with the advantage. Four-point advantage to be precise. Yeah, that was clever, wasn't it? There's the hold, suddenly flicks at the last moment. Poise and balance. And the advantage is Yui Hashimoto's. is over but the shoelace is needed to be retied. 11, 7, 32 minutes this quarter final has been in progress. Oh, I wouldn't like to predict the outcome. Oh Ah, it's a lovely change of pace to finish off the rally from Yamaguchi, but my goodness me, what great defence initially from Hashimoto. Look at that. Lovely, lovely play. Another good rally. Nine, 
well the speed of movements from Akane getting behind the shuttle. Playing the winning smash across the body of her opponent. That speed of movement was the key there. Three points since the mid-game interval have all been won by the youngster, Yamaguchi. Judgment lets it drop wide. And all four points since the mid-game interval have been won by this lady. It's all level on the second game. of Amir Ordina, the way she plays that round the head shot, shorter in stature and therefore the ability to really arch that back, get behind the shuttle and still play with the what we call the round the head action rather than turning and playing the backhand. And it's short. Oh. Goodness me. Six points since the mid-game interval, and all six points going to the 16-year-old. What a peculiar match. Four straight points to Yamaguchi, and six straight points to Hashimoto. Now seven straight points. Yamaguchi. Just 16 years of age. Well, an awful lot of talk about how coaches influence matches nowadays with the mid game intervals and the advice that they can give. There was a certain young lady on court called Yamaguchi who didn't need any advice and she's turned this match, this second game, completely around. Eight straight points. Absolutely remarkable. She worked it all out herself. And I, for one, love to see that in a player. Oh, finally, the run comes to an end. second game is certainly not beyond salvation as far as Hashimoto is concerned about youngsters, isn't it? They play without fear. Yeah, it's a 
nicely done from Hashimoto. It's the older players who know about the pitfalls, know about the pressures, know about the importance of a particular rally, a big point. You know it's a pivotal point. You lose that and you know that perhaps things can change, whereas perhaps when you're a youngster, you haven't experienced the disappointment and therefore you just play uninhibited badminton. You just go for it. Court. Well, for any player, is remarkable. Well, this is only her second ever Super Series tournament. She played the Japan Open last year. Did the Yamaguchi. through the qualifying, lost in the first round. Now she's just three points away from a place in the semi-final. And started the week in the qualifying event. What a story. Yeah, good return. through at the moment. Yeah, they'll be immensely proud. Perhaps immensely nervous as well. Play. Straight drop was definitely the right shot to play. Strong execution. points away well the gentleman in front of father not quite so enthralled as dad well match point opportunities
Marches on. What a story here at the Yonex Open Japan 2013. The 16-year-old qualifier, Akane Yamaguchi, as announced by the umpire, is through to the semi-final. There she is, the teenager playing in only her second ever Super Series tournament. Even in the first round, having qualified last year, she had to qualify this year. And tomorrow, she'll contest the semi-final. Dad absolutely delighted, as is Mum. Well, they'll be very proud indeed. 21-12, 21-16 in 46 minutes of play. Well, we have a new start. We've been saying it for a couple of years now. Women's singles is very, very exciting discipline. Indian players, players from Taipei, and most definitely players from Japan. 